We'd like to take a, the opportunity to invite all of our former graduates to come back to Trinity during the tercentenary. We have a, a, a very exciting program laid out for the year, and that includes, for example, uh, a number of social events, but also we will have research seminars, we will have scientific meetings, we will have state-of-the-art lectures, and we're going to try and make this as inclusive as possible for uh, not only for the main campus, but also for our teaching hospitals to help them to participate in the festivities. So it's a great time for people to come back. I think it's an opportunity to see the Trinity of today and Trinity of tomorrow. Uh, we will also be opening our tercentenary building in that year. Um, it's also for people who have been through uh, Trinity, it's a great opportunity for them to meet old friends, to uh, re-experience the uh, joys of this wonderful campus and to uh, perhaps uh, share some fond memories of their time as medical students here in Trinity College. Trinity Medical School was actually founded formally in 1711 with the establishment of a building which is right here, was right here in the, in the Provost Garden. And that building was originally an anatomy theatre. So from there, the medical school grew until in the 19th century, it was certainly one of the premier schools in the world. And the people who were there at that time were the famous physicians internationally. They wrote the books that medical students used in the United States, for example, and they laid down a legacy that is still there today. Their names are attached to common diseases like Graves' disease or Stokes Adams' attack or Collis fractures. These are, these are names that come from that period and every medical student in the world knows those names. Being a student here in the 70s was great fun. The environment in the campus was very open and very mixed so we interacted quite a lot with students from other areas in college. We uh, spent a lot of time in the snooker room on the top of the Graduate Memorial Building until that started to interfere with, with the studies. But uh, it was uh, all in all a wonderful environment. Uh, it really was. There's no doubt that the main influence on my career was Professor Donald Weir, who was a previous Regis Professor of Physics at Trinity College Dublin. Donald was not only a great educator, but he was a great scientist and uh, his enthusiasm was absolutely infectious. I, I do keep in touch with a, with a number of uh, students from my class and it's a very enjoyable experience. There are a large number of people who are scattered around the world who currently live in places like Australia, South Africa, the United States and obviously it's not very often that you see some of these but uh, there's a real esprit de corps in the medical class and people do tend to come back for reunions. Within my own class there are a number of people who remain very very good friends and they essentially uh, emphasize the fact that your time in college is what forms the core of your life later on. Um, the friendships that, you, that people make in medical school are, are, tend to be very strong and they tend to be very influential in people's lives. One of the nice things about being a student in Trinity College was that I actually met my wife here as well. My wife was also a medical student and we met up in the Mead Hospital in the X-ray department and things took off from there. And, um, and that's been one of the very pleasant side effects of having been a medical student in Trinity College Dublin.